A truck carrying radioactive nuclear waste drives through the forest without a protester in sight. It's heading for Sweden's only storage facility for spent nuclear fuel rods, located just outside the town of Oskarsham. It's no problem for us to film here at the site. The Swedish nuclear industry is happy for the public to see what's going on. The fuel rods are taken directly from this warehouse and transported deep into the mountain, where they are stored underwater to cool. Nearly 5,000 tons of radioactive waste have already been placed in the reservoir. We ask Britta Rosenthal whether it's dangerous for us to stand here. This is a dosimeter which shows the level of radioactivity. We're now standing eight meters from the fuel rods and it's registering no radioactivity. The storage facility will soon be bursting at the seams. Sweden is now in the process of building a final storage plant for the rods. High-level nuclear waste needs to be stored for around 100,000 years before it no longer poses a threat. Believe it or not, the town of Oskarsham applied to host the plant, but was turned down. We needed to find a mountain with as few cracks and crevices as possible, and we found that in Ersthammer. The mountain is better there than here in Oskarsham. For Oskarsham, it's above all a financial loss, meaning less tax revenue and fewer jobs. We travel further north to the town of Ostama, some 300 kilometers away. This is where the storage facility is to be placed. The Swedish nuclear waste firm SKB plans to invest 3 billion euros in Ostama. The local government got out the champagne. The mayor was delighted with the decision, which will guarantee around 700 new jobs long term. Far from worrying about the threat of radiation, for most people it's a cause for celebration. We meet a lot of people all the days through, and no one has said that they are against it. Of course there are some people that are a little afraid, but there are not so many. So the majority, over 80 percent, are positive to this. On the edge of the town we meet Inger Nordholm. She works for the nuclear waste management firm as a kind of PR officer. She takes us to the information center at Forschmark. For the past 10 years, she has been working to drum up support in Ostama for the permanent storage facility. 12,000 tons of nuclear waste are to be stored here in granite, some 500 meters below ground. There are so many things and questions around waste handling. Uh, so. Um, open up, open discussions, and, and a lot of time, I think. You have to feel welcome when you come to a facility like this, because it, otherwise it's hard to ask questions. Around 10,000 visitors come to the information center every year. The Swedish energy provider Vattenfall operates three nuclear reactors in Forsmark. In 2006, a short circuit caused one of them to go out of control for around 20 minutes. Experts admit it could have been disastrous, but the event doesn't seem to have put anyone off. We are so close to Stockholm and Uppsala, so it's popular to have houses here. Uh, there are many summer residents. There are many people coming in for renting a house. The nuclear power plant is a popular tourist attraction. This is the third class of high school students to visit today. They are more skeptical and question whether nuclear power really is safe. The, the thought is good, but uh, if you have a problem with the reactor, you, have a, you, you get big problems. The waste repository is due to go into operation in 2024. Sweden will then have the world's first permanent storage facility for high-level nuclear waste.